Lego parts. Biggest to smallest. I don't own these parts. I don't own these. I get them from fake Lego sets, and I don't know why. So first, it's the smallest to biggest. So let's do this one by one by one stunt. Obviously, the color's off. The color's literally off, and also, it doesn't have any Lego logo. Obviously. Okay. Next, we got this one by one by two clear plate. Obviously, it has no Lego logo, and they don't make colorful clear plates. I mean, they only make some colors, but not this color. I mean, they do, but the color's off. Or maybe not. I don't know. I haven't searched it up yet. Next, we got the fake Ryan's Toys Review tire. But there's actually a tires because I have two of them. And then, next, we got is different tires by a different brand. I think the brand is this. I don't know. Let me check. I think the brand is this. Wait, let me check the brick. Yep, does have a Lego. It's like it says a brand. It says a brand. It's like R E G or something, as you can tell. I think it's made by that company. Next. We have it's kind of creepy. I mean, it's not creepy. I meant sorry. It's this one by one by one brick. It's not creepy, but it has no Lego logo, as you can tell. There's just this dot in the middle. Next, we got is something smaller. It's this fake snot brick. I mean, bracket. Oh, wait. I have three tires. Next, we got is a maybe a, a 6 out of 10 fail. A fake snot brick. Yeah, a fake snot brick. A really fake snot brick. Why? I don't know. Next we got is kind of creepy, and it's staring at your soul, which I got it from Ryan's Lego set, Combo Panda's face. I don't want this staring in my room tonight. Anyways, next we got this fake, I don't know what this is, but yeah, it's a fail. It's big, you know, but yeah, it's really... Fake fail. They tried to make it. Next, we got this fake Ryan's wheel. It's from this set that came with this. There's also yellow versions, but I don't have the yellow versions. So tell there's no Lego logo, and it's, and it's Ryan's company's fake Lego. Anyway, next we got this inverted slope here. It has no Lego logo, and obviously the kind of, the color's kind of off. You can tell. Oh wait, I also got a, two of these. Yeah, I got two of them. Next, we got this. I don't know what this is. It's like a minifigure piece, but it connects on to something. Oh wait, it's supposed to be a car thing, so we can spin the wheels, but the other part is broken. Yeah. Next, we got this. It's a pain to get it on. But yeah, it's this. I don't, it's like this round piece. It is a round piece. Next, we got these one by one by one plates. I mean, two by two plates. Right here, as you can tell, this company is my Mega Box. Yeah, it has that Mega Box logo in the nudge, and also it has this white plate. This white plate here, it's by a different company. By the one who sells this 
big place plate that's sticked on, which is a fake Lego piece. Not Lego bricks. But anyway, let's get to that. Oh wait, I have a clear version. It's a blue clear version by a different company again. In the same company who makes a jumper plate. Oh wait, this color's slightly off. Maybe it's a real plate, I don't know. But obviously the f nudge is fake, I don't know. Maybe it's a real Lego piece or a fake Lego piece. I don't know, I just included it here. I've never seen a clear jumper plate in Lego before. And plus there's this white leftover printing here. I don't know what that is. Oh wait, I forgot to include a real piece. I don't know why I have a real piece in my real piece in my collection. So I'll just add this for some reason. Hello, I don't know. Anyway, let's get to that. And moving on to the fake. This is obviously fake because this is a part for a car and this part for a car does look slightly off and why does it look slightly i i don't know and then here's a mega box here's another mega box plate it's a one by it's a two by it's a two by it's a two by one by three and two by one by three and then we got the slope i have to hurry up i have to hurry up oh no oh no i might have to do a part two of this but first we got this one by one, my free slope, inverted slope. I think someone's here. I think it's coming through the room. Next we got this two by six plate. Two by mega blocks, mega blocks. It's hard to stick on. So I'll just leave it like that. Oh wait, I forgot to include these two. Which is one by one by. These are... Two by one by four plates, and this is a fake one. Another one by one by six. two by one by six ripoff. And there's a clear one. Yeah. There's a clear one by a different brand, obviously. And then next, we got this wooden brick that was from. You know where I got this? Obviously, you might say no, but I got this from a museum of a, a reward because we had extra money and we went to a museum playing and we got some money from it and we got like a Lego set that was wooden and it's it, was, it had crayons so you can paint the brick. Obviously, that was tedious because painting bricks is really off and really weird. Oh, wait, I have this black plate. It's a fake one because I have no Lego logo. And to me, but red sword for me. Obviously, because it's black and it's a construction construction set. We have two, two actually of these. One, two, two by fours, clear plates, clear bricks. Actually, sorry. And these are by a fake Lego brand. Again, this is from Ryan's Toys Review. I have two of these, but I don't know where the other one went. I don't know the right one what so it's the fake slow piece obviously it's combined it has to be combined in one piece I forgot to include it in the other collection oh wait I forgot to include this tire this big Lego tire to this collection and also this other big Lego tire from Ryan's Torch Review anyway I still forgot to include this as well And by the way, we're starting to go to the bulky pieces collection. So we're almost getting to that. And when we're getting to that, you know what's gonna happen. So we have these fake Lego one by six plates. Hold on. These right here, these bad boys. And over here, we got this, we got this sign. Got this barrier right here. That was from a fake Lego set. Not really one. And here's a minion minifigure. Oh my god, look how creepy this is. 
from Connects, and also from Connects, from Connects. Actually, we have this connector piece from Ryan's Toys Review, the fake brand, and this fake brand. I don't know what this brand. It's from Ryan actually, and I found this this the uh, brown slope thing inverted. I think it's inverted, and it came from like Build It Blocks, I think, and it was from this mini pack of Legos that you can build with other uh, real Legos. And then we are starting to go to the bulky collection. So we got these fake discovery pieces, like this Technic pin, this fake Technic pin, and these fake blocky pieces. We're starting to go bigger. And then we have this fake brick separator, as you can see, it has no like a logo, and it doesn't look like this. Plus, this sticks onto Technic pieces because it has more friction and it's smaller. Okay, the last two. We have this Pokemon ball piece from Connect Sets. And last piece, this base plate. Yeah, this base plate is a fake Lego part. The finale is this fake Lego part. Use the brick separator. Honestly, if you use the brick separator for this. Wow, look at that. It sticks on so easily. How? Because it's fake. Wow. I can't believe it did it double. Fake Lego cheap brands are just so easy to take apart. These cheap Lego pieces are so easy to take. Yeah. 